Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video and I'm going to start it off um, by showing you all the things I need. So first of all, I'm getting my tips out. I'm going to do a set of four and I use these. I use these because they don't fit me, they're too big and they came in a mystery box from Glitter Planet. So, zero, they're just, I usually do fit zero, but these don't, they're too big. So, they're what I'm going to use just for my practice designs. Sticking them on. I'm just using blue putty to stick them on. Sorry, I'm doing what? That one hasn't got any. Hold on. Stick it on there. Like that. There. So I hope you can see I've just got them stuck on there. I'm going to try and do some sort of autumn autumn look that's what people are asking for at the moment so that's what we'll try and do so first of all I'm going to do just a base colour so um, I've got Adam Glam and it's called Siberian Storm I love Madam Glam I'm always buying Madam Glam so this is just going to be its first coat. Like I say, these aren't sample tips. These are supposed to be used, but they don't fit me. And I don't like to waste things. thought this would be a nice colour background because I'm going to do leaves and I want them to show up. It's a really lovely colour actually. have someone on Saturday coming to have her nails done and I quite like the idea of doing this colour on her. the first coat done I'll just pop that under the lamp okay I've taken it out of the lamp and it is going to need a second coat just so you get the full effect of the colour
So I'll finish off this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got a stamper because I'm going to be doing some decals and um, there's a lady called Natalie on YouTube. Um, I can't remember her name, it's something like Nat Mugridge and she was the one that gave me the tip on that so thank you very much for that. So, first of all I need to do a little bit of background so I'm hoping that this one from Madame Glam it's called Starfire and it's like not see-through but I don't know what they call it, do they call it jelly? So, I'm hoping it will do some sort of background, oh that's a bit thick. Let's try and spread that out a bit. too much on that one but we'll see get my little lamp and just cook that for about 30 seconds okay I'm back I've cut out two little foxes here because I'm going to try and place them. Just that's at a bit of an angle. One second. Right, it's better. So you get the fox and you pop it onto the stamper, a little bit of water, and just don't soak it but just dampen it nicely straight off a bit more <clears throat> and then hopefully we should be left with a little fox there we go and then I want to put my little foxy in the center about there. He's just peeping out there. Put my other one on. Do the same. Wet it again. Slide it off. I just dry it with my finger, just dab it, and then pop the other little foxy on the other nail. There we go. Set that down. I'll just use this brush just to push that down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but there's two little foxes there. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. I love glitter. I'll just open it up. There's usually enough in the lid, to be honest. And I'm going to find the teensiest bit of base coat. I'm trying this base coat. It's called Wow Bow or Wow 
Biao base coat, hammer free. And if I can open it, can't open it. There we go. Just going to go over the foxes with it. That will even everything out nicely. Again on the other nail. It's first time trying this base coat. It feels nice. I have a Madame Glam base coat, but I cannot find it. I've tried everything and looked everywhere, but I don't know where it is. So I've ordered this. So that's my base coat on. Now in the corners I just want to put a little bit, just a few pieces because I do think they look pretty with a little bit of something in the corners. it up a little bit I've already spilled quite a bit on here <laughs> it goes everywhere and I was going to use some this gold leaf but I actually think that's enough for now close up but that's how it's looking at the moment so I'm just going to put that under the lamp I've cut out some little leaves which I'm going to be putting on the other two so I'll get my tweezers because they're only very small leaves and place them on there a little bit of water let that soak in sort of try and decide where we want these leaves first leaf and I just keep doing this until I'm happy with all the placements of the leaves okay so we've got our leaves up a little foxes now little leaves a little bit of glitter now what I'm going to try and do I don't know if this will work but I've got a Madame Glam super cat eye and you, I think you, you can put it over different things and get different looks. So what I'm going to try and do is get a fine brush. Let's see what we've got here. I'll do. So I just get my palette and put a little bit on here. Like that. This might not work, but we'll give it a go. And I'm hoping I can paint this over the leaf.
elevator in the middle. And then get a magnet. You might be able to get it so it looks like it's got some sort of shading. I don't know if it will, but. Yeah. It is working a little bit. So it has a little bit of. I quite like that. So I'm just going to do that on that leaf, I think, or maybe that leaf. Let's have a look. I'll just put another blob of this on my palette. try this bottom one I have to be quick because I'm in the conservatory and any kind of light just seems to ruin gel of a difference but it's given it a little bit of something hasn't it I might have to order another one of these I can keep thinking of ideas for super cat eye because I love it just put two pops on there healthy blob. how we're looking for my first design on camera so now what I want to do is top coat and I absolutely love this top coat it's called nail mate and it's from glitter planner nail mate super gloss it's absolutely brilliant I love it For everything, a nice coating. Of super glass, getting a bit low actually. Thank you. 
Do the reveal okay if you liked what you saw then please like and subscribe I think that's what they say so yeah I'd love you to make any comments um, if you can think how I could have improved it please let me know I'm only a beginner um, I've watched videos for a bit online and I just thought it'd be fun to do myself and have my own channel so let me know what you think please thank you bye